So I saw the new Sydney Sweeney movie, Immaculate, over the weekend, and overall I had a good time. This is a passion project for her. She's been trying to get this movie made for many years, and finally it comes to life for us now. It tells the story of a young nun searching for her path in life, I'd say, who goes to a very exclusive convent in Italy to find that path by helping older nuns toward the end of their path. I don't want to get too deep into what the specifics of the story are because I think you'll enjoy it more going in cold like I did. So just by the imagery and by the title, I think you get some idea of where we're going with this. That means there is some social commentary here. There is obviously some, some religious elements that may offend certain people. There's also some really interesting social commentary in here about women as vessels for childbirth more than people in a weird way. And I think it's very of our times right now. This film was rewritten because Sweeney's been trying to get it made so long, she aged out of the original character, which was supposed to be set in a school. And I'm sure during the rewriting process, some of our current times really impacted the script. So that's an interesting discussion, but it's not super, super deep, not like something like Benedetta, for example. And that's actually a positive because this is supposed to be a fun horror movie too. But there is enough conversation here with that commentary and the ending of the film to have some great discussions after watching this one. I think Sweeney is very good in this movie. She is the best in it, but she has the most screen time of anyone in it. And that may be one of the few problems I have with the movie is it is so short that there's not a lot of character development around her. It's not even a lot of character development for her. We get sort of the bullet points of why she's there and what she's trying to do, and then it moves into the horror parts. So it feels like for a slow burn film, it moves a little bit fast. I wish we'd had a little bit more character development, maybe a little bit more world building, but that's fine because it's both a slow burn film, but it clips along pretty fast. So if you're in the mood for something atmospheric, you get that here because it has the slow burn atmospheric vibes, but it's also short. So you're not sitting down for a two hour, 45 minute, you know, epic. There are a couple of scenes in here, one scene in particular of gore that's a really good scene, but then that scene completely gets undermined later in favor of a cheaper sort of boo scare. And that's a little disappointing. And for that, I'm giving the movie a 3.5 out of 5 because there are a few situations like that in this movie. And as I said, I wish there was a little bit more character development. Overall though, it's very fun. I think, like I said, Sweeney is good in it. I love the atmosphere. I look at a movie like this and I automatically think of non-exploitation films from the 60s and 70s. Had someone like Jess Franco shot this movie, uh, Italy would have been looking vibrant and beautiful and all of the nuns would have had makeup and lipstick and all this stuff and it would have been a different thing. This movie uses its color palette to help set the tone. Italy actually looks very bland, dark, and bleak and that goes a long way to setting the, the vibes for the film. I recommend Immaculate, again, 3.5 out of 5 for some problems, but it is a very solid horror uh, experience that will leave you talking, especially after the ending. Go see it.